Hey guys, I wanted to talk about something uh, super important today and um, we'll call it staying in your lane. So here's the deal. I just started back to work. Uh, two days ago was my first, first full day back on the job and we got a call uh, from a realtor. Um, her husband's a contractor. so. I had been networking with her um, because I wanted to, you know, take uh, have an opportunity to work on her listings. Well, her husband's a contractor. They've got a house they're just finishing up. She wanted me to go take a look at. So, okay, um, went by. Uh, they had some red clay stains on the on the house. Okay, I can take care of that. It was low. Um, because I'm not getting up on any ladders doing high pressure cleaning. It's just not what I do. Um, they needed the driveway washed down because they had mud clods and just, you know, typical construction site type debris. Okay, I can do that. She wanted the street washed around the dumpster. There was sand, nails. I don't do that. Stay in your lane. My lane is residential exterior cleaning. I'm talking taking algae off your house, cleaning up your windows, making everything look nice and shiny. Uh, I love working on high-end real estate. I don't do nails and sand. So here's the thing. You can't be all things to all people. Uh, when it comes to your your work um, if you're a burger joint and somebody asks for a quesadilla it's not worth your time to run to the store and get the supplies that you don't have if you are a window cleaner and you do not have experience or you do not desire to do construction cleanups it is not worth your time frustration and liability to bust out a razor blade and go and start scraping paint and silicone off somebody's windows if that's not what you're confident in doing. If you're in a position like me, even though you're hungry for work and just getting started, it is not worth your frustration, uh, potentially sabotaging a relationship with somebody because uh, the job doesn't go well. Just stay in your lane and do what you do. Especially if you're trying to scale your business maybe to the point where you have multiple locations and we, you wanna have protocols and have a consistent service offering. You can't have people going off the rails and just doing work that there was a need for but isn't work that you typically do. I mean, somebody calls you and wants dryer vent cleaning. Do you do dryer vent cleaning? Do you wanna do dryer vent cleaning? Don't go out and grab you know, some makeshift tools from Home Depot, a lint wizard, and start doing dryer vent cleaning. Like, it's a commitment, you know, it's a service that you need to educate yourself on and see if it fits your your uh, business plan. So anyways, uh, that's it for this morning. Stay in your lane. I am driving. That's why I haven't been looking at the camera. I'm trying to stay in my lane. Have a good day. Talk to you later.